everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eve and I am so excited about today's video because we are going to be creating a capsule wardrobe. Several months ago I went through and I decluttered probably about 60% of my wardrobe. And even since that time I'm realizing that I still have so many clothes in my closet that I never reach for. And they're just taking up space and holding all these negative emotions in my closet that are unneeded. And I am ready to part ways with these clothes and create a wardrobe that is authentic to me and something that is more minimized, more simplistic, and get rid of all the excess stuff that I don't actually need. So before we get started with the actual decluttering of this wardrobe, I wanna share with you a few reasons why a capsule wardrobe could be helpful to you. So the first reason, which is the biggest one for me, is I just don't feel good about my clothes. I have so many clothes in there that are failures in my mind. They harbor a bunch of negative emotions of things that I tried that didn't work for me, didn't work for my body, I don't like the color that I was trying to fantasize my life, but it wasn't true to who I am. So I want to let go of those ideals and the visual effects of those clothes being thrown in my face that, you know, I failed at something and the money and time spent. Because I don't think holding on to failures and things that didn't work out moves us in a positive direction. The second reason is because I feel like I'm growing up as a woman and I have a lot of clothes in my closet that don't reflect who I am right now and my current lifestyle. They're very young and kind of inappropriate for the young mother that I am. So it's time for me to part ways with pieces that are too young for me and start dressing in a more cohesive, classy manner is really the idea that I have in my mind. I also want to minimize what I think that I need in order to be happy. And I really want to feel confident about my clothes. I don't want to have the decision fatigue issue of looking at my closet and wondering what I should put together for an outfit. So I want to be able to just reach in my closet, pull out some clothes and put them on and go out the door. If I'm being completely honest, I have a lot of clothes in my closet that aren't reflective of my current lifestyle. My Lifestyle is pretty home centric. I do a lot of things at home. I do a lot of just mundane chores around the house. I work from home and I spend a lot of time with my kids, taking the dog out for walks, and I really don't need dressy clothes for any of that. To be pretty honest with you, I wear a lot of tank tops and long sleeve shirts and sweaters and hoodies and stuff during the winter months with jeans and then shorts during the summer. So it's definitely time to part ways with the things that don't actually align with my current lifestyle and be honest with myself about what I actually need on a daily basis and create a wardrobe that is reflective of who I am and is actually going to work for my lifestyle. So with that being said, let's get started into decluttering. Once you have your clothes pulled out of your closet, your drawers, and your laundry, you can start putting it into different categories now. Some people do four categories, other people do three. I am going to be doing three today. I'm going to be doing keep, donate, and maybe. Some people you may do keep, donate, sell, and maybe. If you have things of more value or you want to recoup some money for items that you have purchased. I don't think I have any clothes that have kept any kind of value like that, so I'm not going to worry about sell. Okay, so before we begin sorting through the clothes, some questions that I'm going to be asking myself is when was the last time that I wore this? Do I foresee myself actually wearing this? How do I feel when I hold the item up or put it on? How is the fabric and material wearing? And does it align with who I am today? And also, does it meet my current lifestyle? So with that being said, let's get started.
something to look for is if an article of clothing still has a tag on it, ask yourself, when did I buy this? Obviously, if it has a tag on it, you haven't worn it yet, and there's probably a good chance that you're not going to wear it anytime soon. So if you haven't worn it in the past six months or so, maybe it's time to let that piece go. Okay, so I have all the piles laid out and organized. I have the donate pile over here, I'll show you. So this is the donate pile, which is quite a bit of clothes. I'm really happy actually to be seeing these go. This is the keep pile, the stuff that's on the hangers, and then the stuff in the middle here. I'm really not sure about the bags at this point. Um, the one bag in the tan was one that my fiance got me for one of our anniversaries, and the other one was a gift. But before getting rid of the tan bag, I want to talk to my fiance and make sure that it's okay with him that I get rid of it since it was a gift. I just really don't foresee myself using it. I haven't used it in probably two years or so. So, yeah, I'm going to figure out what to do with that. I'm just going to set it off to the side and talk to him about it and then figure it out from there. And then this pile over here is my maybe pile that I'm gonna put in my storage bin. I'm going to be revisiting this spring as I create my spring capsule wardrobe and figure out what I want in it and what I want to declutter. Okay, so all the clothes are hung. I'm going to show you what's in my drawers. Um, some of the stuff is stuff that is included in the 33 pieces that I have. The other stuff is more my leisure wear, like pajamas and workout clothes. I'm not counting those in the 33 items. But I just want to show you so that way you know that I don't have drawers just shoved full of other clothes. Okay, so here are my jeans. I'm missing a pair of jeans. They're more like high-rise mom jeans. I'm not sure where they are. They're lost somewhere. And then I have one, two, three, four pairs of like sweatpants, leisure pants. This is just like a lounge um, pajama type shirt. And then down here are my workout shorts, a pair of workout pants, and then just a workout top. All right, and that completes our closet declutter and capsule wardrobe building. I'm pretty happy with the results. I got rid of so much stuff that I've been harboring for so long. I must say it feels very freeing and good to get rid of all the excess clothes that have been collecting in my closet for years and to give myself that freedom to move on and grow into the woman that I am today. And of course, I had to end in a comfy, warm sweater because it is like 30 degrees out here in Michigan. So right now, pretty much just living in warm clothes. So this spring, I will be doing a spring capsule wardrobe, so please stay tuned for that. But I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. 
I make videos on slow living, minimalism, and just living a mindful, intentional life. I'll probably be doing vlogging and some lifestyle content on here as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe. But I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!